Hello, and welcome back to my Draft Wagon series. My ambitious project to make a Clydesdale performance pair continues. In this video, I will be focusing on the wagon. If you want to see the making of the Clydesdales, make sure to check out my previous video. As I mentioned in that video, I came to own this wagon many years ago at a model horse show, and it's in pretty rough shape. I really don't know anything about it, and I actually don't mind the original paint job, but it's in need of repairs, and I want something a little fancier for this concept. Which, speaking of, is this absinthe-themed green wagon. The first thing to do after unscrewing the wheels is to strip the paint, as much as I can anyway. I'll be using this goof-off paint remover. I think it's spray paint of some kind, it's been applied with many layers for a cracked effect. It was also primed, so this will take some elbow grease. I'm using some cheap brushes and a steel wool sponge. You would get even better results by soaking it in something like purple power overnight, but I was worried about the plastic pieces on the bottom. So here's what I managed to get off. I'm not worried about the bed since it will be covered anyway. I use my steel wool, knife, and some sandpaper once it's dry to get the flaky pieces off. Now that all the paint is off, time to put some back on. I do a coat of Krylon primer on the underside. And once that's dry the next day, I do the top. And once that fully dries, I use this Rust-Oleum green paint. And again, I let that dry a day before the other side. This is why I like this project, lots of different parts to jump around and work on while things dry. I came up with the design using a lot of reference photos. Using my Liquitex acrylic paint, I mix a dark green for the edges. For the design and text, I make a mock-up digitally and print it out the size I need. I cut it out right to the edge so I can draw the tops and bottoms of all the letters. Once 
Once I have a guide to go off of, I can fill in the letters. This does take some practice since I'm just eyeballing it. I'm using a Posca paint pen. I do have to do a few layers, letting them dry in between.
final things to paint are these metal accents. I am using a tester's silver enamel paint. And now I can seal it all in with my Krylon Satin Spray. Once that's dry, I can line the bed with this neat wood paneling I found for dollhouses. I line it up and mark where I need it to be cut. Once they're all fitting how I want them, I glue them in with some E6000. I paint any of the showing edges with black. For the seat leather, I make a template with some paper and then cut out the vinyl. I prime the wheels the same way as the wagon. I then go over them with some white spray paint. Next, I very carefully draw on the wheel designs with my green Posca pen. Now you may not have noticed, but this wagon is missing its lamps. There are remnants of where they were, but somehow they got knocked off over the years. So first off, I will need some glass for my lamps. I'm using a plastic cover from my roommate's journal. I promise it was given willingly. I draw a square the size I want the lamp to be and cut the plastic into a rectangle the side of three of them side by side. I score the two touching sides and bend them into a U shape.
Next, I get out my Aves two-part epoxy to make the back and top. For the bottom, I put in a bead for the bulb. After all that hardened, I can add the side supports. One of them was not holding together enough for me to put the soft epoxy on it, so I glued it with super glue. Do not do this. Apparently super glue likes to fog things up when it dries. But I went about my sculpting none the wiser. I added little blobs for the top decoration. And here you can see the fogged up plastic. I guess you could say it was a pain. So I made a new window and stuck it back in. I made little noodle cones off camera, and once everything was fully hardened, I sanded everything so it will fit securely. I sculpt the last little bits and now it's time to paint. I'm using the same tester silver enamel.
I stick them on with more epoxy. And we're all done. Time for the finished result. Here's what it looked like before. And here is the after. I love how it turned out. It's exactly what I pictured. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Make sure to boop that like button and subscribe to see the doll and harness.